this topic, you will learn about machine learning, its applications, and standard machine learning clustering algorithms like k-means. Let's first understand what machine learning is. It is a subfield of artificial intelligence that has empowered various smart applications. It deals with the construction and study of systems that can learn from data. For instance, machine learning can be used in medical diagnosis to answer a question, such as, is this cancer? It can learn from data and help diagnose a patient as a sufferer or not. Another example is fraud detection, where machine learning can learn from data and provide an answer to a question, such as, is this credit card transaction fraudulent? Therefore, the objective of machine learning is to let a computer predict something. An obvious scenario is to predict an event in future. Apart from this, it can also predict unknown things or events. This means that something that has not been programmed or inputted into it. In other words, computers act without being explicitly programmed. Machine learning can be seen as building blocks to make computers behave more intelligently. In 1959, Arthur Samuel defined machine learning as a field of study that gives computers the ability to learn without being explicitly programmed. Later, in 1997, Tom Mitchell gave another definition that proved more useful for engineering purposes. A machine learning computer program is said to learn from experience, E, with respect to some class of tasks, T, and performance measure, P. If its performance at tasks in T, as measured by P, improves with experience E. As data plays a big part in machine learning, it's important to understand and use the right terminology when talking about data. This will help you to understand machine learning algorithms in general. Let's begin with vector feature. It is an n-dimensional vector of numerical features that represent some object. It is a typical setting, which is provided by objects or data points collection. Each item in this collection is described by a number of features, such as categorical and continuous features. Samples are the items to process. Examples include a row in a database, a picture, or a document. Feature space refers to the collection of features that are used to characterize your data. In other words, Feature space refers to the n dimensions where your variables live. If a feature vector is a vector length L, each data point can be considered being mapped to a d-dimensional vector space called the feature space. Labeled data is the data with known classification results. Once a labeled data set is obtained, you can apply machine learning models to the data so that the new unlabeled data can be presented to the model. A likely label can be guessed or predicted for that piece of unlabeled data. Here is an example of features of two apples. One is red and the other is green. In machine learning, an object is used. In this example, the object is the apple. The features of the object, which is apple, include color, type, and shape. In the first instance, the color is red, the type is fruit, and the shape is round. In the second instance, there is a change in the feature description in the color of the apple, which is now green. As machine learning is related to data mining, it is a way to fine-tune a system with tunable parameters. It can also identify patterns that humans tend to overlook or are unable to find quickly among large amounts of data. As machine learning is transforming a wide variety of industries, it is helping companies make new discoveries and identify and remediate issues faster. Here are some interesting real-world applications of machine learning. Speech recognition. Machine learning has improved speech recognition systems. Machine learning uses automatic speech recognition, or ASR, as a large-scale realistic application to rigorously test the effectiveness of a given technique. Effective web search. Machine learning techniques such as naive bays, extract the categories or a broad range of problems from the user-entered query to enhance the result's quality. This is based on query logs to train the model. Recommendation systems. According to Wikipedia, 
Recommendation systems are a subclass of information filtering system that seek to predict the rating or preference that a user would give to an item. Recommendation systems have been using machine learning algorithms to provide users with product or service recommendations. Here are some more applications of machine learning. Computer vision. Computer vision, which is an extension of AI and cognitive neuroscience, is the field of building computer algorithms to automatically understand the contents of images. By collecting a training dataset of images and hand labeling each image appropriately, you can use ML algorithm to work out which patterns of pixels are relevant to your recognition task and which are nuisance factors. Information retrieval. Information retrieval systems provide access to millions of documents from which users can recover any one document by providing an appropriate description. Algorithms that mine documents are based on machine learning. These learning algorithms use examples, attributes, and values, which information retrieval systems can supply in abundance. Fraud detection. Machine learning aids financial leaders to understand their customer transactions better and to rapidly detect fraud. It helps in extracting and analyzing a variety of different data sources to identify anomalies in real time to stop fraudulent activities as they happen. You've learned what machine learning is and its applications. Now let's take a look at the role of machine learning in Spark. The scalable machine learning library of Spark is called MLLib that contains general learning utilities and algorithms, including regression, collaborative filtering, classification, clustering, dimensionality reduction, and underlying optimization primitives. You will learn about some of them in the following screens. Spark excels at iterative computation, enabling MLLib to run fast. There are two types of API. Firstly, a primary API, which is the original Spark.MLLib. Secondly, there is a high-level API, which is the pipelines Spark.ML. Spark 1.2 includes a package called Spark.ML, which aims to provide a uniform set of high-level APIs that help users create and tune practical machine learning pipelines. You will learn about the steps followed in the general machine learning pipeline in the next screen. Here are the steps that are included in the general machine learning pipeline. The first step is data ingestion. When a user ingests data, it may not be in the correct form and may require some cleaning up and transformation, which is the second step. This data is an input for the machine learning algorithm. In the third step, the data goes through the model training. The next step is the model testing phase. In the final step, the model is then deployed and integrated. The model feedback then goes back to the users and reflects in the user behavior during data ingestion. Hey, want to become an expert in big data? Then subscribe to the Simply Learn channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in big data, click here.